Well, the Worcester Railers hit the road today for a midweek contest against the Adirondack Thunder at 7 p.m. from the Cool Insuring Arena after a big win on Saturday night in front of the second largest crowd in franchise history. Welcome everybody, Cam McGuire here standing along Railers General Manager and Head Coach David Cuniff for this edition of our Coach's Corner. And Cunny, before we get into the hockey talk and Saturday night and preview tonight's game, boy, that pie-eating competition on Saturday night with Joey Chestnut was a uh, Pretty sweet to see, and you guys had the chance to, to chat with him a little bit before. Yeah, I got to meet uh, got to meet Mr. Chestnut uh, before before the game, so it was great to meet him, get a picture taken with him. Um, he met the staff. It was actually really interesting talking to him about what it takes for him to have success and uh, how much time and energy he puts into it. It's uh, it's like anything else. It, just, it you know the, the the hardest work is normally the best, and uh, he's proven you know, with, through his career that uh, he's worked harder than everyone else. He's, it, it's like what a commitment he makes and, and uh, what he does, you know, to prepare to have success. Well, all around, it was a great night off the ice, beforehand, afterwards, and most importantly, your club picked up a huge 4-3 victory. And for you, we talked about it prior to the game, but it was your first uh, opening night as a member of the Worcester Railers, and it was uh, had, to, had to feel pretty good. Yeah, it was great to get the win. Obviously, uh, I think the group showed a lot of character. You know, I don't think that we're ever going to be out of games. I think we've proven already that uh, we could be explosive and, and um, you know, we can always come back. So that's the goal of our group is to never quit, keep fighting, and it was great to find a way. And obviously it was a great play there, the, the game winner with, uh, you know, starting at the D zone. I showed the group, you know, our offense starts at the offense, at the defensive goal line, and we had Malatested, you know, box out, do a great job defending the front of the net. Uh, Brent Bowden came in and is, is a rookie, made an unbelievable play, sweeping the puck to the corner, then went, went, uh, went and won a battle and got it going up ice. And the play between Pisey and Hayhurst was just a heck of a play. We talked a little bit a little bit about it after the game on Saturday, but the resiliency from your team uh, not grabbing the first lead of the game until that game-winning goal in the third, is that something that early on in the year is, is very valuable and, and very important to, to learn as a team and kind of overcome some uh, some ups and downs throughout the game? Yeah, I think it's key. You know, like when uh, when the group feels confident and never feels out of it, we're, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be able to, you know, hopefully be able to come back. Uh, I've been on other teams where we've had leads and you, and you knew going into the third period, like, you know, the guys were just, you know, they'd pucker up and you just don't know, like, it would, it would find a way to lose. So uh, I think I think the success we've had, even Friday night, you know, down 3-1, tying it up 3-3, I think it shows the character of our group and, uh, you know, never quit attitude, which is, uh, you know, so important, especially, like you said, early in the year, so we can hopefully consi consistently do that. We don't want to chase games, you know. Uh, every game, but we'd like to play with a lead, but uh, knowing that you can always come back is very important. Well, rookie goaltender Colton Ellis was spectacular on Saturday night, made 42 saves in his professional debut, and we touched on it afterwards as well. He just looked so calm, cool, and collective in the net, and it was this, not even uh, the amount of saves that he was making, but the quality of saves he was making was tremendous. Yeah, I really think our fans are going to be lucky. I mean, it was, I know it's only one game, but our fans are really lucky. They're going to be able to watch an NHL goalie, uh, you know, future number one goalie, I think, in the NHL. You know, I think what was even more impressive after watching the tape is his breakouts. His goalie handles, he really moved the puck well. He has a lot of hockey sense and uh, made great decisions with the puck and then obviously did a great job keeping the puck out of the net. Worcester and Adirondack tonight face off just around the corner at 7 o'clock here tonight. And a short week of practice leading up to this game. You had the Monday and Tuesday practice here at the Fidelity Bank Worcester Ice Center. Have you been able to look into Adirondack at all? Or, you know, in terms of being so early in the season, it might just be one of those things to, to focus more on yourselves. Or how have you evaluated uh, tonight's game? Yeah, Jason and I looked at Adirondack. Uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us. They're a fast team. They're a skilled team. Um, they play with high energy, you know, but that being said, you're right. We're more worried about ourselves. We didn't talk to the group about Adirondack. We just basically right now we have a lot to focus on, on just uh, creating the habits that we want to create. Pretty familiar lineup, uh, what we saw on Saturday night. A couple of changes. We'll get into that later on here in the pregame show. But one player I do want to mention is Brent Bodwin, and he uh, he was fantastic on Saturday night. Had two assists, was plus three, and he actually made his, uh, I guess you could say, professional debut. Now it's got to be 600 days ago up in Adirondack. But he seems to be a real special player and someone that I know you uh, 
uh, speak very highly of. Yeah, man, he's a utility. Like he's a utility guy. You could put him anywhere. His IQ is off the charts. He's a smart hockey player and uh, and a really good hockey player. His release with his shooting, his passing. Um, this kid, you know, he wasn't in on Friday night for us up in Maine, and uh, you know, starting the season without him in, you're going like, how is Brent Bowden not in our lineup? And um, you know, he went in there on on Saturday night and and made an argument, you know, to not be taken out. So uh, that's what we have. We have a lot of tough decisions, and uh, it's up to the players. The, they're going to dictate who's in, who's out. It's uh, it's going to be on on their performance, and they'll 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 determine how much ice time they play. And Bodes is a guy that. Is there in PP time now? He's a penalty killer for us and a five-on-five five important player for us. Well, a building the Railers have had a lot of success in. They'll look to continue that tonight as they take on the Adirondack Thunder at 7 p.m. Connie, always great chatting, and uh, best of luck tonight. Thanks, Cam. Appreciate it.